me again, back with a bit of local dev action after what I learnt on what was it, lesson 19, doing the local install. So I'm looking to the side now, so we've got the side monitor, different audio set up today. <clears throat> Going with these, so I don't have the big mic in front of me, I've had these lying around for a while, this is a Rode NT USB mini condenser mic, but it's a good one. Um, and the software's all got compressors built in and noise gates and all that jazz. So let's see what this sounds like. So, yeah, today what I'm going to be doing just quickly, because we'll have to see Partridge in a minute. So I thought I'd get a quick lesson in before I go out. Um, set up local React environment with Create React apt app. So we've done that. Um, I thought it was important to, oh, where's my banner? There we go. This is one I've made up, not part of the React course, but it's um, playing with React local. So <clears throat> at the end of the previous lesson 19, he advised doing a few things on the local app that you've got successfully set up. Now I've got it set up, running, and I didn't get to play with it because it wasn't ready and the video wasn't ready. So I just thought I'd do it now. So I'm taking the video from, let's get it up, um, from this stage, which is the section where Bob talks about working with your local app. So I'm going to do that, watch this video. Um, I'm going to do some coding. So where we go. Bet you can hardly wait. I've watched all that before. So, he said, delete the source files from there. Let's get a bit of dry, put the chunk them in. Delete all those source files and just recreate that very basic <coughs> message that he's got there. Essentially, hello world. But it's good that I'm doing this because there, are, there has been days that I've missed. And I've forgotten these commands, forgotten them. So, by the power of multiple desktops on the Mac, you can see here, this is the environment I set up. And there it is running. So if you look in the, uh, the terminal there, uh, spun it up onto that port. That's my IP address. And yeah, so let's go and do what he said. So, delete all this. These are all the source files that Create React app gives you. 
Now going in the bin. So I guess we're just going new file. Index, yeah. what do they call it? Yes. What? What's that? Then create a new text file, All right? Okay. I don't want to put it in the wrong folder. Stupid. First React app. Source. App.js. What's that the correct name? App.js. What's it linking to? Shouldn't delete them, should I? Right, where's the JS link? Oh, Bob. Index.js, he's called it. Okay. All right, well, how does index.html know that it's index.js? I don't get that. Is this some weird React app thing that I don't know about? Normally in HTML, if you're linking a, if you're linking to a JavaScript file, it is linked. Index.js. Oh. All right, so that's different. We'll just see what happens then. That's different from the normal workflow. Probably something to do with this webpack bundling and whatnot. Hmm, well, that's interesting. Let me just get this to view. Right, let's just write this hello world. So import act from app. Import. Start importing. JSX. I think. <laughs> I can't remember. Did React DOM? It's the JSX bit, yeah. That's importing the library. That's importing JSX support. What's that? A stupid light bulb. It's annoying. I'll just save that, see if this refreshes, because he did say. Oh, should be, we should get nothing there now. What? How can that be? I'll save this in the right place. First React app source. Problems. React is defined but never used, React on is defined but never used. Oh yeah. Duh. That should fail. Definitely save, isn't it? Save. Hmm. Hmm. Is it right? 
import React from React. Yeah. Import React DOM from React DOM. Yeah. What the hell? Well, let's type it out. React DOM. Global variable using the end function. I can't remember the syntax, we've not written any for five days. Just brackets, isn't it? Yeah. Brackets, effing parentheses. Now let's see if. How do you get autocomplete working with? JSX on yes code. So complete yes X. Yes code. Right, this guy has asked exactly what I want. Straight to the point. The most straightforward way is to autocomplete your React projects is to add this to your user settings. You may have to restart if you look at the map in React. Blah, 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 blah. Which is the best answer? So let's edit in 2019. What's got the tick? When was that done? Visual Studio Code detects JSX. Ah, JSX extension. So what? Don't know what it means. If you prefer to use JS extension for your, all your React files, which will, you can associate JavaScript React mode with JS files in the bottom right corner. Let's make this a bit bigger. That's what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. How's he done it? Preferences settings. Type in that in. Right. No oh, shit, what's he got? Let's make a chart I'm logged in. I want these settings to sync. Okay. Where did he go? Coming in 10 minutes, better be quick. Settings, JSON. Oh, it's going too fast. Can't pause it. I don't know where he went. All right, mate, we'll get the idea. Settings, preferences, settings. Right, well, I don't get that menu. I get something different here. Why am I not seeing a text file like he is? Ugh. What happens if I change it to JSX? That would be pretty cool. Ah, 
change to a React logo, look. Interesting. H1. Yes, there we go. Let's see if it sports on it. Mm -mm -mm. Why? It's an eight of them. Boom! Coolio. Right. That'll help the workflow considerably. No, I don't need that there. Or that. This is still bugging me. Why is this not failing? Why is that like that? Is it because I've not written any React? Oh, whoa. Edit source app JS to save and save to reload. Ah, okay. Where's app JS? Should I call this app JS? No. What's that? No bollocks, don't want that. Let's stop this, Let's start it up again. Control C, NPM start. Sure, you don't have to compile every time. Something smells fishy here. I'm not talking about the contents of Baldrick's Apple Crumble. Let's create a new terminal. First React app. Hell. Help me out here, Bob. Ah. <laughs> I'm a dick. I've not told it to put that HTML in that root element. What happens when you get rusty? All right. Document. Oh, get on and buy ID. That's a root one, isn't it? Is it? Yep. Oop. Why is it complaining about that? This should work. Save. 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 Computer says no. Help me, Bob. Index.js. I 
I'll use JX, I'll use JX X, but let's see. This was supposed to be easy. We watch what Bob did again. What if it doesn't though? What if it doesn't? No oh, fucking off in a minute. All right. I don't get it. Why is it not working? what we'll do. Kill that. Damn it, throw in. Hmm. Partridge. I'm in the wrong folder. I think I was messing about creating with create react app to create another one called Partridge, I think, yesterday. I think I have been using that's a bit bigger. <laughs> what a dick. Basically, I've been spinning up. So what what that React app there that's spun up is this folder. And it's not that first React app. Silly me. Right. So for my mate. C D D D. Let's go back. Where are we? So let's go back again. Remove partridge. The R recursive. Where the F's that partridge? Oh. No. the switch to kill it. Oh. 
That's what I did. That looks shit. Can't see it. Jesus, just tell me the answer. Can't delete the lecture using RM. Okay, special command for delete directories, remove directory. You can't use it. Right. So the R switch was what is used for the recursive. So delete everything in it. So this should work. I know it's not. I know it's not. Jesus. Best command for me. So I delete a directory. Note this command only deletes empty directory. Oh, for God's sake. Delete everything in directory. The RM command has a powerful option. R. When you need write it's a capital R. Right, but you can use RM. RM. Finally, you should see this die in a minute. I don't know. What the, yes. Uh, I'm thinking I should use another switch. Oh, I don't matter. Actually, yes. Right. This is all confusing when there's two. I don't like what. When um, this is just like a little port portfolio site and building. I don't want that in remove folder. Well, let's call this learning React this workspace. And you rename the workspace. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Right. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Terminal. Let's go in a fresh terminal window up so we know where we are. Right, I'm finally there. MPM start the shut now work. Starting the dev server. Hey! Got there in the end. Worth the perseverance. So, good. So, I've got Emmet working. I've got autocomplete working in JSX. I've got a nice little Reacty logo there. You can rename the file JSX. What I've also learnt is that you, some, you don't need to link this JSX file within the HTML, which is a, it's a new paradigm. Let's just see if we can rename this and it'll still run. No. Module not found. Index, right, so you, you need to, it needs to be called index.js, that's interesting. Hey, okay. what if? I rename that to test.js. Well, does this need to be? Hmm. I 
don't know where that's set. And a config file anywhere? No. 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 Right. Well, I've written my first re bit of React on my own local build and I've got it running. Which is a satisfactory result. How long did this take me? Half an hour. Half an hour well spent though. That was um, the second bit of that, which was setting up a local React environment using Create React app. And this was me um, messing about with it, failing, not failing, a learning experience. All right, I'm gonna sack it off now. So I'll mark that up as done. Um, next up, styling and images with CRA, which I think I've already done, but I might do it within my local environment. For shits and giggles. Catch you on the next vid. Adios. Do it again. <laughs> I've got my monitor to the side. I can't. Right, door's gone.